Alrighty, guys. It is Friday the 5th of February, 2021. We're going to be tackling Canyon NASCAR by Pires. Going to have another entry into the NASCAR series here. So, we know the drill with these at this point. Um, we're going to... We're not going to use the brakes, probably. And then we're also going to... Um, only use just like letting up on the gas. See how it goes. Off to an insanely fast start already. Loop. Oh, okay. Okay. Interesting road texture, I will say. Because it, like, the road texture has, like, mapping. Like, it has, like, normals. So it actually looks bumpy. Looks like a horrible road to drive on. Suspension better be pretty good on this track, or on this car. How did I do that first try? I wonder what that thing over there is. It's probably for the NASCAR, like, mod. It's like a pit stop or something, I don't know. Because it's also a multi-lap start. Or maybe that's where we'll come into on lap two. Fine, we will launch ourselves into that corner. Not a great, not a great start, but we're, we're fine. Okay, we'll just, we'll just, uh, we'll just go with it for now. Because I at least want to get a full round of the track. Interesting purple light there. Nice. And we come into lap two, yes, on the side like I thought. Okay, I'm... So we only get the red boost at the start. Nice. Good. Okay, we're, okay. I've done a lap. I don't have to worry about consistently slamming into the wall if that's what I'm gonna keep doing. I gotta be careful about my speed because if I come into any of these corners above 600, I just automatically start sliding out. You don't want that. Hit the wall, oh my god. Do the zigzag that's not signed. Okay, that one. Maybe if I came in with more speed. Speed boost! Hey. Okay. Oh my god, that's really hard to get smooth. Okay, I don't know why I did that. Okay. I'll get one clean 
two-lapper in. It will happen, I can assure you. That was nice. Oh, that was super smooth. Very nice. Very nice. I saw that coming. I was too far to the right. And I panicked. But we have a good first lap. And I can finish this out and then we'll have like a baseline to go off of, at least for the first lap. That first lap was extra clean. Wow, that turn is very awkward, but it works. Okay, gold. First lap was prime, second lap, not so prime. That loop is very smooth. I like it. Okay, good, great. Extra fun. I, pff, nice, I was just late on that one. I'll just wait for the perfect opportunity to start steering. And we'll get it. Will happen. Surprised it didn't hit the wall, but we're fine. And I hit the wall. I hit that wall. Good. I don't know why I let up there. I didn't need to do that. Really bad second turn there. I'm surprised I can tell what my back the back of my car is doing. I mean I guess I would hope I can. If they're playing long enough I can kinda judge <coughs> what the rear of my car is doing even without seeing it. There's only one problem with this camera, but I guess I can see why people use it. I'm personally not a fan of it, but I can see its uses and have been able to use them to my advantage before. There are, some, there are just some tracks that benefit from it. Uh, Tracks that kind of benefit from getting close to, close to the insides of things. They end up being the tracks that uh, work the best. Okay, need to pull way further over there, but that was a really good first section.
Okay, nice. Oh, wow. I got uh, super, super close. I think there on that first turn, I was alternating between half pressing and pressing. I had to let up so much there. I think uh, just accepting that I will get air there is better than trying to risk it and going for super deep on the inside and probably not even gain any more speed. And I'll actually have many more times where I get a clean lap because of it. Because I can just go like this. And actually, I can throw my weight in such a way that I actually land pretty smooth. I don't get a bunch of wobbles. Oh, okay. I think it was because there I was, uh, I had accidentally pressed the other direction. Wow. Super close. I need to get more of a, like, a drift there. Nice. Okay, for some reason there, you probably... That one's weird because if you do the same, like... There's like a general uh, play style for these NASCAR courses. Obviously, the, the the letting up instead of using the brake is how they're kind of designed. Um, but usually, every time you have one of these like angled transitions, my thought with them is to just make sure that I give myself a kind of a launch, a launch with some angle so I can drift around the corner coming up. But this corner doesn't really have that. Okay, we're zooming on by my ghost. I hit because I decided I wanted to slam into the wall or something, I guess. This track actually probably benefits from the small amount of extra speed you get from wiggling on a red boost. I should try that right at the start. Okay. Yeah, because you get more speed if you wiggle on it. Maybe just not like that. I don't know exactly how to do it, which is why I'm not, uh, which is why that wasn't much faster, but. I know there's a way that you can kind of drive on a red boost to get more speed than if you just like went straight on it. Hit the wall. I don't know exactly how to do that, but I'm pretty sure there's a way to go faster on a red boost. I like wiggling on it or something. That was nice. Kept all my speed.
What? Oh, I hit the other key. It's just how these keys work. These analog keys is that they're they register with or they they register an input at such a low with uh, with with such a low amount of force pushed on the key. If I'm just like hold, if I'm just resting my finger on it a little bit too hard, it registers. That may sound like a bad thing, but it it really is not. It's when I think back to all these times where it's happened, I I do realize that I am pushing it a little too hard. And it may have just happened on the normal keyboard anyway. I kept so much speed through there. Yep, I wasn't ready. I still wasn't ready. I got so close to the inside there. Yeah, I'm finding that I need to give myself some, like, a flick to get the, uh... Oh! I need to get, like, a... I need to give myself, like, a little bit of a flick to, um... To actually land that kind of jump smoothly. This first banked corner, I just need to accept that getting a little bit more air is actually useful. Yeah, that's so much better than the way I'm doing it. I'm like trying to go for as minimal air as possible, but I think some air is required. Now I just have to figure out that corner. That corner afterwards. We're 17 minutes in, and I've set one time. It's fine. I actually set a really solid, good first lap, and then the second lap is to be improved on. I probably have an author medal if I just get two nice, clean laps. Because I have gold with a bad second lap. Okay, just... I, like, I, like I said, I clearly didn't listen to myself. I need to just accept that I'm going to get a little bit more air there. I'll make the turn faster. Sometimes being fast now is not always the best choice. Sometimes you have to wait and be fast later. Because of what you did... Because of the slow thing you did before. Okay, that time I just turned into the... That time I just turned into the freaking... Into the wall. These NASCAR tracks make me do that. They make me just drive into the wall. See, that wasn't solid, but at least I didn't really have to. I did have to let up at the end there, but I still didn't have to let up that much. Wonder if that methodology works on this corner. It does. Okay, we're behind, but I'm not worried. My first lap was solid. We're consistently behind though. We're just gonna gain time. I lost a ton of speed there because I am an idiot. Oh, and I hit the wall still. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's the author medal. Nice. Apparently, you don't need to get a flawless run to get the author medal. You just need two and one and a half very solid laps. Okay. Well. Keep going. The best time is a 129. There's, there's three sec. Er, sorry, there's five seconds I can shave off, and 
I know, at least one of those is to me hitting a wall. Very nice. Very nice. Hmm. That was not nice. Shoutouts to the noise Steam makes when someone gets online. If you are the th one of the three people who use it, uh, know that that was me and not you. I did the thing again where I just was holding the key down. Fine. We're fine. I do know that compared to my PB, I was like a tenth ahead the whole time. I definitely can, like, get ahead and stay ahead for the whole race. At least until I crash. Then I'll definitely get ahead. As long as I do a flawless run. Oh god, I almost slammed into the wall looking at what time we were at. That was smooth. Okay. Didn't expect me to hit that rock, but I did. <laughs> I was equal and then I was 1,000th ahead. All in the span of literally the, time, the distance between two checkpoints. Yeah, it wasn't as good of a corner, but it's fine. I lost a lot of speed there, but it's fine. Okay. That corner is still a little bit too wide to do the drift thing. It's just I have to have a little bit more speed. If I'm just like really good, I'll be able to make it without worry. I'm surprised I didn't hit that rock. Wow. Ah, so I was so fast though. That's what I want to do is get that corner really smooth like that. It seems like the way I do it is I just need to let up a lot more than I think I do at the start, and then I should just be able to commit to going around it the whole way. Don't do that, don't hit the wall. Man, we are at 25 minutes. This track is... These NASCAR tracks always go, to, oh, by, go by really fast. Do ever so light let ups. Commit to this. Yep, you'll make it.
Oh my god. We have five minutes. I can get a- I can pull out a good lap. I mean, it's fine if I don't make it. I can kind of grind this out on the weekends and then throw this in the weekend video. We gotta get the good- we gotta get the good release. The good content for... The Friday video. Come on. You can tell that I've clearly, like, learned muscle memory-wise what the timing is on that let-up because I pretty much- you can hear the ghost me do it and me do it at pretty much the same time and for the same length. I've drilled that timing into muscle memory. That was not great because I had to let up a second time. Still fast. It's not like I'm pulling away. Could be pulling away at this point. Oh my god. That time I had too much speed. Actually, it wasn't that. I, I just... If I, if I go full send into that corner, I'm going to hit the inside. So I, I like... Go like I'm going to go full send. I, I throw myself into the corner, and then right as I land, I straighten out. To basically immediately lose the... To basically immediately lose the progress, or the, uh... The harsh steering that I've given myself. But it'll, it'll keep the slide, which is what's slowing me down enough to make the corner. At least that's how I think of it. Man. What a difficult what a difficult track to get better than what I've done. Even though I know what I've done is really solid up until the end. If I can just get a run where I don't crash, that'd be perfect. I can't I can't let you guys have a, a run where I crash in it. Even though I've done it before. Did it yesterday. I had to... I thought I was going to hit the inside, so I had to let up for a very short amount of time. And you can see that not committing to just fully turning around that corner can just completely screw you over. Okay, that wasn't great. I'm slow. Oh my god. Alright, well. This will probably be the end. Um, I will see you all for... I will see you all on Sunday, the 7th. Where you will attack whatever tracks happen to be the tracks of the day for the weekend. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you all after I clutch out a, a completely no-hit run right at the end here. Uh, later!